back to another episode of Just Watch here on the YouTube. Uh, today, we're going to do a quick video, just an overview, a one-week overview on my SBDC053 uh, 62 Mastery issue. I've been wearing this around for about a week now, and I just kind of want to give some overall impressions and feelings about it. Uh, also, just give you guys a, a little bit of info. We've been going for about three weeks now. Uh, with the channel, and it, it's doing great. I'm very happy with the response, and people seem to be enjoying the content, and I love all of the likes and the comments that people are making. I think that's awesome. Um, so thank you, everyone, that has watched the video so far and commented and liked and subscribed. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad that you liked it. I kind of started this on a whim about three weeks ago. Just I've always been into watches and into Seikos especially, as you know, if you've seen my other video, I've owned a, a, a Turtle since 1986. Uh, just always loved mechanical watches, especially automatics, going back to the very first pocket watch that I was given when I was a little kid, which was just a cheap Hamilton watch with an uh, acrylic crystal, um, which is still running, by the way, and it's still in storage in a box somewhere. I'll have to pull that out and see if I can uh, do a review on that at some point. Uh, that would be fun to revisit that watch. But anyways, everyone, thank you for tuning in, for the likes and the comments. Also, apologies for, I know some of the videos have had some rough spots as far as the, you know, the sound quality hasn't been great on a few. And, you know, I know there's some issues with the pictures on a few of the others. So trying to work through all these issues, learning as I go along. And uh, I'm just glad to have you guys along. And uh, it's fun. So, and that's kind of the whole thing with this channel. It's just to kind of have some fun talk about watches and go from there. So anyways, let's get into the SBDC 05362 Mas reissue, give you some opinions on it, take a look at this Archer watch strap that I have it on, which I'm very happy with, and we'll go from there. All right, without further ado, let's go. Hey everyone, we are back now with the SBDC 05362 Mas reissue. Just wanted to give you kind of a one week overall impression on this watch. Um, first of all, uh, in the intro, I said that I had put it on an archer strap, and that is not correct. Uh, I actually put it on a Barton strap. I actually bought a couple of straps last week and just mixed them up, so forgive me for that quick little mistake. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to kind of go over some of the things real quickly that I liked and disliked about this watch, and uh, just kind of give you my overall impressions on it after wearing it for a week. So, uh, first of all, the likes. Uh, that dial and the bezel. Uh, Look at that dial color. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. Just a gorgeous blue. You can see how it, it reflects a little bit, kind of gives you a, a sunburst type of a feel to it. Um, just a gorgeous dial. I really love uh, the applied markers too. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see those markers. Uh, they are also gorgeous. Uh, the hands are easy to read. Uh, everything about the dial I just love. I love the date position, the way that they outline the date with that little touch of white. Uh, and all that too. I also love the um, the movement of the bezel. It's it's what I call a just right tension. Uh, not too easy, not too hard. Uh, very accurate, aligned perfectly. Uh, very little play to it. Uh, just really high quality. It's something. It's an action that you would expect to find uh, on a watch that costs a lot more than this uh, by far too. Another thing I like about this watch too is that uh, with the bezel, not only do I like the action, I like the height of it and in the feel of those machine cuts and also uh, I really appreciate the machining on these uh, on this case on like on the lugs and also on that case side and you can see that mirror polish that's on the side and then you have a matte finish kind of on the top and also I'm very happy about uh, the drilled lugs too it just makes it super easy to change out straps uh, like this leather strap that I'm running on it here so I, I really like uh, this leather strap combo with this blue dial uh, I think it's a cool color combination. Uh, so there you go there. Um, what else do I like about this watch? Uh, 6R15 movement keeps fantastic time. It's just awesome. It stays within the same minute uh, for a week now. So it's just very accurate. I don't do any manual winding with this watch very much either. It's just, you know, whatever it gets from daily wear with the automatic movement. Uh, so very accurate, very good timekeeping there. Uh, really enjoy that. Um, I like the size of this watch too. I think it's just a perfect size for me. I have a seven inch wrist uh, and this is a, it's a, almost a 50, it's just under 50 millimeter height or length, whichever you prefer for the lug to lug measurement. Uh, it's a 42.6 millimeter 
uh, diameter, excluding the crown. And then it's a 13.8 millimeter height, uh, which sounds high, but really it's not that much. Uh, it sits very low on the wrist because of the way that these lugs curve down. I'll give you a wrist shot in a minute, but it does not sit high uh, at all on the wrist. I also appreciate this crown. I have some questions about the crown asking if it uh, digs into your wrist at all. And really there's no issue there at all. Um, if you look at it, it's actually, if you think there's no crown guards on either side here, uh, the crown actually screws into the case a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of an indent in the case. So it really doesn't stick out any further uh, than a regular, you know, watch where you have the crown guards on the side. You know, I think that classic Rolex Submariner look. And it might actually be even more uh, into the crown than some other watches. Uh, it really, I don't even notice it wearing it. I've never felt the crown even hit the back of my wrist or hand there. Uh, so no issues there. Um, Really like this watch. It's it's really just a nice wear. Uh, you know, classic Seiko, beautiful finish, beautiful machining. Uh, you can see those lines in the crown. Uh, just like everything about the manufacturing of the tolerance. It's just a it's just a really highly polished package. Oh, and one final thing to mention too, as far as the likes go, uh, is <laughs> look look at that crystal. Uh, that is a sapphire crystal with a very very slight dome to it, and it is just gorgeous. Uh, look how that, you can see that little bit of a beveled edge sticking up above, and then that doming. And it does have a double AR coating on the inside, so really nice. I really enjoy that, that the crystal on this watch, too. Um, it wears, let's see if I can, I'm going to pull back a little bit here, so, yeah, there we go. So when you wear this watch, it wears much smaller, as I said. Uh, and, it, you know, it, it's pretty light. It's only... Uh, with the with the silicone band, it's 124 grams. So it's you know it's a stainless watch. It's kind of that tool watch type of family, but it doesn't have. Eh, I won't bother with that. But it doesn't have the the chunky feel when it's on your wrist. A lot of other uh, dive watches have. This watch to me is almost like a hybrid between dress watch and, and dive watch. Um, kind of a nice mix between the two. As you can see, it sits really nice on the wrist. It just sits right down low. Uh, doesn't stick up high at all. I think a, a dress shirt cuff will go right over that with no issue too. Uh, so really nice on the wrist. And you can, like I said, I'm a seven inch wrist. Um, so quickly, let's talk about the few things I did not like about this watch. And there are actually a couple of things. Uh, first off, uh, <laughs> and it's funny because I love this bezel and dial. Uh, and the dial in all light conditions is very easy to read. Uh, with the AR coating and those applied markers and the, and the loom, uh, no issues there reading. But what you do have happen sometimes is because of the gloss finish on the bezel, and I'm not sure what that bezel insert is, uh, but it's super glossy and bright, and it actually changes colors depending on the light. It goes, you can see it almost looks black here, and then when you're outside in daylight, it goes to almost a very light blue. And there are times when I can't really get it to do it in here, but you can't see the numbers. Uh, so I don't think I would use this as like a go-to watch for diving. Let me zoom back in here. Uh, I definitely not, you know, for diving, I'd go with a Marine Master, uh, a Turtle, a Shogun, something like that in, in the Seiko line. Uh, so, you know, maybe not the best. But like I said, if you're looking for a watch that uh, you can wear every day, you can wear with just about anything, uh, super nice, just great looking watch as far as the fit, the finish, the shine, uh, the timekeeping. Uh, it's a watch you're just going to enjoy looking at. I mean, it's just, you can see how beautiful that dial is and that bezel is. Like I said, probably not your best choice if you're a serious diver, just because the bezel does get a little hard to read in certain conditions. Uh, so maybe go to a more, you know, tool specific watch, or if, if you're a serious diver, you're probably going to get into uh, maybe like a tuna or something like that. But uh, everything else about this watch, uh, A+, plus, A++, plus plus, uh, just a gorgeous, fantastic watch to wear every day. Uh, can't recommend it enough. If you're considering getting one, uh, definitely uh, don't hesitate. Uh, you will not regret it. All right, everyone, thanks for checking in on this quick one-week review on the SBDC053 from Seiko, aka the 62 Moss. If you like our content, Please uh, give us the likes and comments below and also appreciate anybody that subs subscribes. Uh, just very happy to have everybody along. Like I said, you know, I've only been in this for three weeks and just kind of started this for fun because I love automatic watches and mechanical watches. So 
Uh, just super happy to have everybody, and I'm glad everybody's appreciating the content. So, everyone, thank you for tuning in to this episode again, and we'll see you next time.